defense is at this point? Where, where would you say y'all are in relation to maybe last year at this point? I mean, um, last year we had a good relationship around this time, and, and we was like where we needed to be around this time. Um, you just really never know to the first game. I mean, you always go into the season with high hopes, and you know you feel like you're ready for the situation that's going to come in. But you just truly never know to the first game, and then after the first game, then that's when you're like, okay, we're here. We need to be here, or or, or at anywhere like at a certain measure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and your conditioning, I guess, was such a big deal this time last year. Is it kind of a distant memory at this point, or do you still sometimes have a little moment? I mean, see, the thing is, like everybody <laughs> referred to my conditioning as the time when I fell, when, when I had a little fallout in the first practice. Um, but nobody know that um, that first practice I had a visor on, and it was hard for me to breathe with that visor. Hmm. So it really wasn't a conditioning part because, like, just like last year and this year, I was always out. Um, like out ahead in, in my group as far as running and, and so on and so forth as far as conditioning. You know what I mean? It's the conditioning coaches will tell you. Mm-hmm. you know what I mean, running and all that was never a problem for me. For some reason, I don't know why, but it's really never a problem for me. It was just that point in time I had a visor and it was hard for me to breathe and the humidity and all that. So it kind of played a big role on me falling out. But um, I just felt like this year compared to last year, I had a different mindset because I knew what to expect. So you're saying last year that was the equipment malfunction? That yeah, it was yeah. A lot. I mean, I was trying to be a little more than I or than what I should have been. I mean, trying to be a, a, a skill guy, kind of, in a sense, at heart, you know what I mean? You expect you and Kwame to still kind of split it up or maybe be 60-40 about in your favor in terms of playing time? I mean, to be honest with you, I expect for uh, whoever's having a, 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 a whoever has a good rhythm at the time to be in there, you know what I mean? Because, I mean, let's think about it. If Kwame's doing his thing out there, like, unless, of course, Gardner told me to go in there, I'm not going there and mess up his rhythm, you know? Because at the end of the day, we're both a team. So if he's doing his thing and, and he's making plays and, and making things happen, unless, of course, G told me to go in there, he should be in there and, and keep on making plays. So it's really, I don't really know what the split is going to be. All I just know is that um, whoever is in rhythm should be in there, you know what I mean? Is it feeling different going into this year against a team like Buffalo as opposed to last year? Primetime, Boise State, 8 o'clock, Georgia Dome? I mean, it's a game, bro. Like, no matter what the situation or the, the hype of any game, it's a game. So, like, just because it's not, like, a, a high class or, or, or a big big school like LSU or Boise State or anything like that, it's still a game in my, uh, to me. You know what I mean? So it really doesn't matter.